Adams, Ahmed, Jang, Young, Wang, Wright, Wood, Wilson, Williams, Wilkinson, White, Watt, Watson, Ward, Walsh, Walker, Vertinen, Varsandy, Vanderberg, Turner, Trainer, Townley, Todd, Thompson, Thomas, The Scientist, The Professor, Taylor, Tarrant, Strong, Stewart, Stevens, Smith, Skip, Singh, Simpson, Shepard, Shaw, Shah, Scott, Schumacher, Schofield, Saliba, Ryder, Ryan, Russell, Roland, Rose, The Rookie, Rowan, Rodriguez, Robinson, Roberts, Richardson, Richards, Reed, Rees, Red, The Rainmaster, Price, Power, Potter, Pool, Phillips, Patel, Parsons, Harry, Parker, Olson, Oldtimer, O'Sullivan, O'Reilly, O'Neill, O'Connor, O'Brien, Nielsen, Mackinnon, Murray, Murphy, Mr. Monaco, Morris, Morgan, Moore, Mitchell, Miller, Midas, Mia, McCarthy, McBride, Martinez, Martin, Marshall, Malone, McKinnon, McDonald, Lucky, Lloyd, Lewis, Lee, Lawrence, Kumar, Coronan, Knight, King, Khan, Kelly, Carlson, Jones, Joker, Johnson, Johansson, Jensen, Jenkins, James, Jackson, Iceman, Hussein, Hunt, Hughes, Houdon, Hopkins, Holmes, Hirani, Hill, Heslin, Herbert, Hawk, Harris, Hansen, Paul, Griffith, Greg, Green, Gray, Graham, Gowers, Goodall, Jilks, Gardner, Garcia, Gallagher, Freeman, Franks, The Flying Fin, Falcon, Evans, The Flying Fin, The Engineer, Ellis, Edwards, Duffy, Doyle, Devlin, Depala, DeVries, De Jong, Day, Davies, Davidson, Crofty, Croft, Crab, Cox, Cooper, Cook, Collins, Cohen, Clark, Chen, Chapman, Chambers, Cartwright, Carter, The Captain, Campbell, Byrne, Bucken, Brown, Blue, Bloggs, Bird, Bennett, Bell, Begum, Baxter, Baker, Bailey, Azim, Ava, Anderson, Ali, Ahmed, Adams.
Welcome to my team. Here, you'll experience the world of Formula One not only as a driver, but as the owner of a brand new F1 team. First things first, let's choose your character. Great, now let's set up some of the key details of your new team. We'll start with an easy one. What name would you like to give the team?
price. Now, some kind of income stream is critical, so we need to sign a primary sponsor. Our primary sponsor will pay a signing bonus to the team up front. This is vital to cover the early investments we need to make. They will also provide valuable weekly income for us. Each sponsor has a goal that they want the team to achieve. If we hit that goal, the sponsor will pay us an additional goal bonus. Fantastic. Now we've got a budget to work with. Our car won't be going anywhere fast without a power unit. So let's sign a power unit supplier now. We need both performance and durability from our power unit, but we also need to balance the books. We're going to have a lot of other areas to invest our cash into. We almost have all the key partners for our team now, but we still need a teammate for you. These are the drivers available to be your first teammate. They all have their own strengths and weaknesses, so consider everything when deciding who to hire. Drivers earn a claim based on their performances. When a driver earns enough acclaim, they will level up. The higher a driver's level, the more acclaim they will earn for their current team. And remember, the faster the team levels up, the faster our income will the higher a driver's experience, the more resource points are earned to spend on vehicle upgrades. Racecraft is the driver's skill to effectively complete overtakes when opportunities arise. Awareness shows the driver's ability to avoid errors and incidents. Pace describes the driver's ability to set competitive lap times. Rating is a summary of the driver's overall skill level. Like we can afford this power unit supplier and teammate. Go ahead and confirm if you're happy. Let's select or edit the livery we'll be running this season. We can add more sponsors to the car as we sign them throughout the year. And don't worry, we can edit our look at any time from HQ.
now we need a badge for our team branding. Select an existing badge, edit it, or create one from scratch. Last but not least, we need to pick team colours for the rest of our branding. You'll see these colours throughout HQ. Great, that's everything.
Okay, we're live in five, four, three. Hello folks and welcome to the HQ of Formula One's newest team. We've been invited backstage to gain an exclusive insight into what could be one of the most exciting entries in the sport for many years. Now we've seen a number of new teams enter the sport over the last decade, amongst their number Manor, Caterham, HRT and of course Haas. And while some have proved to be successful, others have morphed into different teams and some have disappeared completely. What marks this team out though as being something different is that its owner is also its driver. Now, there's a rich history of that in Formula One too. Sir Jack Brabham, John Surtees, Graham Hill and Bruce McLaren all drove their own cars in the sport, but it has become increasingly rare in recent years. What's very special about this team though is that, that while the team itself is new to Formula One, so too is its driver and owner. Whatever happens this season, you've already made the history books. Tell me, do you feel up to the mammoth task of both managing and driving for a Formula One team? Every team needs two drivers, but what was it that drew you to your teammates? No one aims to finish bottom of the table. Who's the team you're aiming to beat? How are you expecting the car to feel out on track? The other teams now have years of experience, both on and off the track. How are you planning to catch up to them? Overtaking is a key part of this sport. How have you ensured that your car can take advantage of each opportunity that comes your way? And finally, which of your new departments are you most proud of? Well, that's about all we've got time for here. We will see how this fledgling team fares in its first Grand Prix. OK, great. Thank you. That's a wrap. Great interview, boss. You nailed exactly what the team's been working on. When you've got time, check the R&D tree to see our current progress and where we think there's room for more. And while you're at it, why not take a stroll around HQ and check on how the team's doing? This is where you can view our current facilities and the effects they're having on the business. You can also invest some of our cash into upgrades for these facilities. I recommend we could go for something like this. It's important to use the time between races to the fullest extent, and that's where these activities come in. Manage everyone's time as efficiently as possible to maximise the team's performance. Our new parts have been completed without issue. 
They'll be on the car ready for the next race weekend.
morning, boss. Jeff here. Thanks again for bringing me on board. You've found a lot of talented people for this team. I can't wait to see what we can accomplish. Our journey to the Constructors' Championship starts here today, and the car is ready to head out whenever you are. In the unforgiving world of Formula One, free practice sessions are a vital part of any Grand Prix weekend. During your F1 career, you'll be able to utilize these sessions to complete practice programs, which will help you learn the track and earn new points that can be invested in developing your car. You'll also be able to adjust your car setup over the course of these sessions to try and find those extra fractions of a second. The sporting regulations dictate that after each free practice session, you'll have to hand back two sets of your dry tire allocation for the weekend. So get the most out of them while you can. Okay, here's something to remember about this circuit. The most important braking zone is probably the penultimate corner, T15. It's a very tight left-hander. You will understeer if you take liberties with it, so be careful. We have a number of programs to run during these practice sessions. You can check the details in the car monitor. We'll get good data for both the race and factory teams, so they're well worth running. Track is quiet right now. Let's get out on track while it's clear. I know it's tempting to focus entirely on the race, but we should put a bit of time aside to run the qualifying sim program. Try to run it before the end of FP3 if you can. Hey boss, this is Jeff. Just wanted to say thanks for trusting me as your race engineer. I won't let you down. The car is ready to go, but it's brand new of course, so there may be a few issues here and there. We'll be keeping a close eye on all the data.
Rest zone is coming up. Get ready to open it. Distance is on your MFD. stuff you've pretty much nailed this circuit this is a really strong foundation to build from over the weekend Job well done. We got some.
In this program, we're looking at ERS management. This is all about managing your battery efficiently throughout the lap to hit your target time. The overtake button will drain the battery. Test complete, and that was a very good job indeed. We got a lot of valuable information out of that. So far, our fastest lap is a 1 minute 34.3. This test is all about tyre management. Try to control the slip through each corner and take extra care putting the power down at the apex.
complete and a job well done. We got some excellent data with that run, so come on back to the garage and I can talk you through the numbers. And with all the cars now over the line, let's see our top three again. The owner-driver, Hamilton and Alexander Albon. Sadly, it's time to say goodbye as free practice is over. However, we'll be back shortly. some consistent laps please we're looking for good data that we can work into the race strategy
we asked for. Keep it up. Super job so far, we're getting great data. Stay focused. Super job so far, we're getting great data. Stay focused.
flight test complete, and that was a very good job indeed. We got a lot of valuable information out of that.
The session has drawn to a close, so let's review our top three. The owner-driver, Leclerc and Alexander Albon. And that's it. Practice is officially over. Until next time, goodbye. If it were me, this is probably what I'd invest in. This is a quali sim. We've estimated the times our closest rivals will be doing, so that's what we need to beat.
Job well done. We got some excellent data with that run, so come on back to the garage and I can talk you through the numbers. If you want to know specific information or make certain changes to the car during a pit stop, you can tell me what you want over the radio. Press and hold the radio button to activate the system, and you can either speak the command or select it manually from the radio Testing fuel management here, so try to lift and coast going into the corners. Don't be too aggressive on the power, but remember, you still have to beat the minimum lap time. Lab there, but there's still more to find. Keep at it. test complete.
It's time to remind ourselves of our top three, who are the owner driver, Hamilton and Charles Leclerc. Excellent lap, we're really pleased. We're all ready for tomorrow's race, but before we begin,
Right. I think we can call that a successful qualifying. We should be in with a good chance in the race. Months of rumour and speculation all come to an end today as we return to Melbourne for the opening race of what promises to be an enthralling season. Welcome along then to the Australian Grand Prix. The Melbourne circuit is certainly one that needs to be taken seriously. Its combination of slippery surfaces and difficult corners make it a tricky track when it comes to overtakes. Drivers find it hard to pass and will need to take full advantage of those DRS zones if they want to have any hope of breaking through. Can Mercedes start with victory in their bid to win a seventh consecutive Constructors title? Could Ferrari or Red Bull establish an advantage early on? And with 22 cars on the grid, how quickly can the new team find their footing? Well, it's great to be back, Anthony Davidson. We've got a lot to talk about this year. That's right, Crofty. It felt like a long winter, but it's good to finally be back. I have to think the usual suspects will battle it out at the front, but there are always going to be some teething problems early on in the season, so whoever can keep on top of their issues will have the advantage today. As I mentioned earlier, we're up to 11 teams this season with a new entry run by, well, of all things, an owner-driver. That's something we haven't seen in this sport since Hector are back over four decades ago. So how are they looking so far? It's hard to imagine how a small operation like that could survive in the ruthless world of Formula One. And yet here they are, first ever race looking surprisingly strong. But there are no points for qualifying. Let's see how they fare in the Grand Prix proper. It's time to see how our drivers are stacking up after yesterday's exciting qualifying session. It's the owner driver in pole position then. And it's Lewis Hamilton alongside. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Bottas, Albon, Sebastian Vettel, and Leclerc, Verstappen, Norris, Sainz, and Daniel Ricciardo, Stroll, Perez, Esteban Ocon, and Gasly, Raikkonen, Giovinazzi, Daniel Kvyat, and Juan Manuel Carrera, Grosjean, Magnussen, Russell, and Nicholas Latifi. Which of these talented drivers will come out on top today? We're going to need you to push hard if we're going to get a good result today. Let's make it happen. It's a decent start. Good job.
first position, front of the pack. DRS is being enabled this lap. We can use DRS when you are within one second of the car ahead and in the DRS zone. Okay, here's who we're really fighting today, Hamilton and Bottas. condition is still looking good. This is your final lap, final lap of the race. We're leading our teammate by 18.4 seconds. They're on fresh softs, they're in 20th. The time last lap was a 134.8. That's P1, race win, well done.
We've witnessed some great battles on the streets of Melbourne today, and they've taken a fantastic win. So, Anthony, what made the difference out there today? I think that smart tyre management on track and very smooth driving definitely assisted in their victory today. That combination meant they got the absolute maximum out of their tyres at all times. Well, I'm thoroughly exhausted after the excitement of that race, but I'm sure it's nothing compared to our drivers here. They've worked hard to make it up there, and it's great to see them make their way out onto the podium. So then, it's time to see how this result affects the Drivers' Championship. And after a thrilling race, we see a new name heading up the championship standings. After an incredible day of racing, who was your driver of the day, Ant? Well, for me, it's got to be Lewis Hamilton. The multiple world champion may be the boring choice at this point, but you can't argue that he's a driver deserving of his reputation. Let's move on to the constructors. Mercedes move to the top of the table. Well, Ant, an end to another fantastic weekend of racing. Thanks to everyone who joined us, and we'll see Great work out there today. Let's have your thoughts. Who took the top points today? Was it a comfortable win? You really looked in control of your car out there. Your team must be thrilled. Appreciate your time. This is the driver market. From here, you can see pertinent details on each driver in the sport. Compare them with each other and add them to your watch list. When the contract negotiation window rolls around, this is where you will approach any drivers you wish to hire.